Well, good morning. This is uh, Morning Devotions here for Wednesday, July 21st. This is pre-recorded. By the time you're watching this, I'll be on holidays already. But I wanted to spend just a few minutes here uh, opening God's Word together, uh, sharing some some words of encouragement and and keeping us grounded, keeping us moving forward in, in the hope of our Lord Jesus. As we begin our time together this morning, we hear these uh, words from Psalm 88. This is our psalm reading for the day, Psalm 88, verses 1 to 5. O Lord, the God who saves me, day and night I cry out before you. May your prayer come before, may my prayer come before you. Turn your ear to my cry, for my soul is full of trouble, and my life draws near the grave. I am counted among those who go down to the pit. I am like a man without strength. I am set apart with the dead, like the slain who lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, who are cut off from your care. It's kind of an ominous way to end that, that reading, uh, but just that, that acknowledgement of, the, of, of our own mortality, of our own finiteness, uh, Perhaps the, the struggles, the difficulties, there's times in life that we just feel, feel that way, uh, absolutely at our end. But the grounding remains in that, that first couple of verses there, crying out to God, acknowledging that he hears our prayers, that he hears our voice, he hears our pleas. And just that reminder that he does act, he is quick to act in his own way, for his own purposes. Let's turn now to uh, 1 John 2. We're going to carry on with where we left off last week. We've been uh, thinking about uh, uh, John's admonition to the church to, to uh, a call to a holy life, a call to a life of forgiveness and repentance, and, and uh, just the transparency with which we're to live not trying to fool ourselves thinking we're better than we are. Uh, also the opposite, not thinking that we're worse than we are, but always living rooted and grounded in the forgiveness of our Lord Jesus. So he picks it up uh, where we left off uh, last Wednesday. First uh, John 2, we'll look at verses 12 to 14. I write to you, dear children, because your sins have been forgiven on account of Jesus' name. I write to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil one. I write to you, dear children, because you have known the Father. I write to you, fathers, because you have known him who is from the beginning. I write to you, strong men, because you are strong, and the word of God lives in you, and you have overcome the evil one. So we see there that, that progression, a, a, three, a threefold progression there. It's repeated twice. Uh, he writes to, he says, dear children, to the fathers, and to the strong men. Just wanted to reflect on that just, just briefly and, and what John writes here, uh, writing to the whole breadth of the church, to, to each and every one of us, to, to the children. Uh, I think you're referring to, to those uh, young in the faith, those, those uh, still growing. I mean, we're all still growing. We never reach a, a maturity, of course, but uh, those, those earlier on in the faith, exploring the fundamental, the, the, the uh, more elementary things of, of God, exploring who he is, uh, discovering uh, his nature, uh, being catechized, growing up to, to know who God is. And, and, and that's what he says, it, the basic elementary things of the faith, because you have known, you have been forgiven. They're the basic, that's the foundation of who we are as Christians, because we have been forgiven. 
because we have known the Father. Then he goes on to talk to the fathers. You might, you might consider those uh, the, the spiritual elders, the, the spiritual fathers, those who have, have, have grown in wisdom and, and stature, have walked with the Lord, have been with the Lord uh, for some time. And uh, you know, he's, he's writing, writing to them within the church. Really, I think, reminding them that, that their journey isn't done, that they have much to, to uh, 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 still contribute. And also a reminder not to get conceited, not to get puffed up, because you have known the Father from the beginning, who was from the beginning, excuse me, because you have known the Father who is from the beginning. It's a reminder that, you know, we never never parallel, we never match, we never live up to up to God. You know, we can be journeying in this this uh, faith life for 80, 90, 100 years. And still God is even more. The depth of God is, is beyond our knowing, beyond us f- uh, being, being uh, even fathomable. And yet we're invited into that, to the richness, the depth of our God. I think that's the, the reminder here from the beginning, who is God who is from the beginning, who's even, even from before the beginning, however that works. The depth of God is unsearchable. Encouragement for us to, to keep growing in him, to keep growing up in him. And finally, to the young men, because you have overcome the evil uh, one, uh, because you are strong, the word of God lives in you, and you have overcome the evil one. I think that's the encouragement uh, uh, for, for many of us. That reminder to, to stay strong, you know, young men, that image, a picture of, of strength, a picture of, of vigor, of vitality, of hopefulness in, in youth. That reminder that we've overcome the, the evil one, that God's word is strong, God's word lives within us. A reminder for each and every one of us that we are strong in the Lord, in his presence. We grow up to, to meet him, to know him. We grow in his strength and in his power. So just that reminder as, as it's set within the, the first part of this book here already of, of living transparent lives, of living a life of, of forgiveness, a life of um, having received forgiveness, being aware of who we are. Paul reminds us of that again. Yes, he uses all masculine terms, but, but it applies to, to each and every one of us. Knowing who we are, growing up in him, standing firm in his power and, and his strength. Would you pray with me? Lord Jesus, we do thank you that you invite us into a life of faith with you, that, that you invite us to stand with you, not, not in our own power, not in our own strength or our, our own wisdom, but, but in you, in, in your power, in your strength, in, in your wisdom. I pray, Lord, that each and every one of us uh, would be growing up in you, growing up to know you. That's a, the foundational thing that, you've, that John, John repeated here. Growing up to know you, to love you, to follow you, to walk with you, to be reminded of who we are because you have called us, because you have chosen us, because you have forgiven us. Lord, I pray that you would fix and train our minds on you. I pray for your spirit to fall afresh on us, a a spirit of wisdom, a spirit of power and might. I pray, Lord, that we would be shaped by you in, in all that we do, in all that we say. Have your way among us, I pray, Lord Jesus. Even as we lift our voices together, praying as you have taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
a little bit shorter here today, uh, but uh, just wanted to, to share a few words of, of encouragement and, and spend some time here. Uh, so I pray God's blessing on your day today, on, on your, your coming days and, and your coming weeks here. Uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look on you with favor and give you his peace. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me and uh, yeah, look forward to getting back to doing these live again uh, in a couple weeks time. Blessings on, on your day today.